I pray y'all are having a blessed day. So the reason why the devil is attacking you so hard and you're feeling all this spiritual warfare that's upon your life right now is because the enemy wants you to sabotage your blessings. He wants you to sabotage every single thing that the Heavenly Father wants you to receive through Lord Jesus. See, the enemy can't stop what we receive from God, but we can if we start focusing on what our circumstances look like instead of focusing on the one who has the power to change the outcome of what our circumstances look like. That's why today the Heavenly Father placed in my spirit to let someone know, don't focus on what it looks like. You know, sometimes when I do these videos, I read the comments and I see how there's so many people with powerful testimonies. And then I see a few comments of people losing hope because they've been waiting for a long time for something to happen for their lives. And they may try to speak down about the message because they're wondering, will it happen for them? That's why I want to let you know don't lose hope. See, me and my family, we was homeless, off and on for three years and some change. We worked jobs, dead-end jobs, that barely paid the bills and put food on the table. There was a time I only had two outfits, one for work and one when I was off work. We lost it all at least twice. Surely I know you get tired. But I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't let you know that we serve a God of restoration. And how I know because he did it for me and many others that believe. So you may have to go through the waiting process. But when I'm hearing in my spirit right now, sometimes when God allowed the blessing to wait, he's just allowing it to marinate. See, he had to put some seasoning on it. He had to prepare it. He had to prepare your heart for it. We had to make a way for the Lord for it. We had to renew our mind for it. See, there was a time I felt just like you. I got tired of hearing how my life could turn around for the better if only I believe. Then one day I was walking through a parking lot and I heard the spirit of the Lord speak to me. And he said, it's time for you to do what I call you to do. And I spread the gospel and I said, dear heavenly father, you must got the wrong person for the job because how can you use someone like me? See, here's the thing. This is what I want y'all to know. I didn't have it all together, y'all. I was still a sinful creature when the heavenly father used me, but he turned my mess into a masterpiece as you always hear. And that's a true statement. See, when I heard the spirit of the Lord, that's when I knew I just got to believe more. Don't let the devil infiltrate your mind with intrusive thoughts because his primary goal is to try to get you to sabotage your blessing before you receive it. See, when the father told me to do what he called me to do, I tried to sabotage my blessing, y'all. I kept going back to a familiar place. I kept messing up time and time again. But that's what taught me that I can't do it on my own strength. I got to put my life in the hands of God because he will direct my path. He will establish my footsteps. He will make the crooked path straight. He will make a way out of no way. And if you lose it all, he will give it back because we serve a God of restoration. He will restore you better than the former you. Because old things must pass away. God is going to make you better. And he has blessings for you. Through Lord Jesus. As we continue to believe and have faith. But first, he's going to get your relationship right with him. We can't force this thing to happen, y'all. We got to keep on going. We got to keep on believing. We got to keep on trusting God. Because his time will always be on time. God told me to let you know, don't focus on what it looks like. Because sometimes when the spiritual warfare increase in our life, it can look like the battle belongs to the enemy simply because of what we're up against. But if David would have ran from Goliath, the God we serve wouldn't have got his glory. Don't let the devil cause you to cheat God out of his glory because the enemy knows that the battle was already won. And the God that we serve is bigger than the Goliaths we face. See, you are of God. Greater is he that is in you than he 
that is in the world. It don't matter how well you preach or how successful you become in life with something that you want to do. There will always be someone that dislike you and disagree with you because of who you are in Christ. Because it might be stuff that's not working out for them. Or sometimes the enemy may try to make you feel uncomfortable because of what God allow you to receive. So that can cause jealousy in the hearts of people. See, we all have experienced something in life, but don't let others experience change your experience that you have had with God. Because what they don't realize is we all have been through something before we stepped into a better life. See, I understand how frustrating it can be when you're waiting for something to happen and it just seemed like that day will never come. And sometimes the devil will try to use our desperation to cause us to make hasty decisions that may feel good at the moment, but we regret it later on because we just want to get off this path of feeling like nothing is happening. So I know we all have been there at some point in time. And that's why God is saying, don't focus on what it looks like. Because when God has to go past the due date, the expiration date, he's bringing something back to life. When we all lost hope, when we thought it couldn't be done, what God say? He said, Lazarus, come forth. When my brother was in the hospital bed, hooked up to the breathing machine, they said he was unresponsive. And they basically pronounced him brain dead. And he was like that for a couple of hours until our mom showed up and she said, you got to fight. Then immediately he jumped up and my mom started panicking. And she said to the doctor, is this supposed to be happening? And they said, yes, this is the response that we've been hoping to see that we've been waiting for all morning. So when he came to and they took him off the breathing machine because he had a collapsed lung, and two blood clots. They immediately ran tests on his brain to make sure there was no brain damage. Everything was clear. He had zero brain damage. And today he's doing better. So you can't tell me God ain't real. You can't tell me God don't still do miracles. You can't tell me God isn't a way maker. God told me to let you know, don't focus on what it looks like because all things work together for the good of them that love God and are called to his purpose. So as I bring this to a close, I just wanna say, sometimes when we focus on what it looked like, that can cause us to become overwhelmed because the circumstance may just be that rough. Just like the few testimonies that I just shared with y'all, with my brother, or when we was homeless, or when we was just going through life circumstances dealing with people, because we met some rough people too on this journey. And all that, when we start focusing on it, instead of focusing on God, we can become overwhelmed and it can cause us to overthink. So that's why if we keep our focus on the heavenly father, he don't have no secrets. He's going to help you get through everything. He sits high and looks low. He oversees the land. He know exactly how to get through it because he has the perfect plan. See, God going to help us through it. And that's why I share these testimonies with y'all. That's why I try to give words of encouragement so that you may have hope where hope was lost. So if you keep your focus on Lord Jesus, I'm a living testimony that he will get you through. Even in those moments when you overthink, even in those moments when it just seemed like it's darkest before it's dawn, God going to provide that light. He's a lamp that's going to guide our footsteps. So keep on believing, keep on having faith, and keep on loving God in the waiting season. It's not comfortable sometimes, but like I said in a previous word, when you remain in a temporary place of discomfort, that's what moves the hand of God. Because the devil going to try to tempt you off the path that God has chosen for you, simply because it might just be that difficult. 
But when you trust God in those moments, when you wait on God's timing, the blessing just going to keep getting bigger. And when that harvest time come, you ain't even going to remember how much you had to go through. God got something for you. So don't focus on what it looks like. I pray this bless you in Jesus name. Amen. I love y'all.